Hey, this is Chris again from Leader Pro, and today we're gonna to talk about some B2B sales hacks. I think the first thing to think about is, uh, I run into this issue a lot, which is where founders are using a single channel for a single audience, but they're not overlapping different channels as part of an overall sequence to the exact same audience. A lot of companies will do like email drip campaigns to like audience A, and then they'll do LinkedIn DMs to like audience B, and then they'll do a series of like cold calls or like SDRs doing cold calls to audience C, but they don't overlap that experience. Now, if you relate that back to the consumer journey, for example, and I'm like a no-name brand, like how am I going to convince a consumer to purchase me or my product if I haven't built trust or I haven't like uh, gotten some kind of visibility across multiple channels? Let's just say I'm selling a pair of running shoes and I'm a startup and I just started these pair of running shoes. They're the most comfortable shoes in the world and they're the best performing shoes in the world. If you're a consumer, you're probably not going to buy these shoes no matter how great they are through a series of me just bombarding you through a bunch of emails. But let's just say for example, I purchase a billboard and you see the billboard ad and we have Usain Bolt using these shoes, right? And then uh, after you see that, you get a Hulu streaming ad with again, Usain Bolt running in that commercial. And then you get a post on your Instagram feed from an influencer that is you know, running ultras all day long in these new pair of shoes. Now, by the time that you get the email, let's just say like a 10% discount code, um, and we've targeted you very well, knowing that you are gearing up for a race in the next few months, you're much more inclined to buy XYZ no name shoe brand now that you've had all these plays of advertising. So, you know, what we like to position or what we like to suggest is incorporate all these channels into a single sequence. You know, if we did something like that across the same exact audience, I guarantee you're gonna boost up your response rates significantly than if you were to use a single channel for a single audience. 